Hurricane Burl made landfall on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula on Friday morning after it ripped through Jamaica and the Caribbean earlier this week, leaving 11 dead as southern Texas and the Gulf Coast brace for its arrival this weekend. Burl weakened to a tropical storm on Friday afternoon and continued to weaken as it moved across the Yucatan. But the National Hurricane Center warned at 4 p.m. Central Time that it's forecast to regain hurricane strength before approaching the western Gulf Coast. With the center's latest update, a hurricane watch and a storm surge watch went into effect along the Texas coast from the mouth of the Rio Grande northward to Sargent meaning the hurricane conditions are expected within 36 hours. A hurricane watch also is in effect for the mainland of Mexico from the Rio Grande to Barra El Mezcatel. The center's forecast cone graphic now shows Burl with winds of 90 miles an hour as it reaches the coast between northeastern Mexico and the middle Texas coast on Monday. But the entire coast of Texas lies within the forecast cone, which indicates the likely path of the center of the storm over the next five days. Additional watches and warnings alongside the or going along the United States coast could possibly uh, come later today, the center stated. By 4 p.m. Central Time, as we've noted, Burl was about 35 miles east southeast of Progreso, Mexico and 610 miles southeast of Brownsville, Texas, the National Hurricane Center said. Now, as it continued moving across the Yucatan, its maximum sustained winds had dropped to 65 miles an hour. The center of the storm is forecast to emerge over southwestern Gulf Coast of Mexico within the next few hours. The storm could dump up to 10 inches of rain on parts of the Yucatan, increasing the risk of flash flooding, according to the Hurricane Center. Burl could also trigger strong rip currents on beaches throughout the Gulf Coast, the center said. For Headlines with a Voice, this has been the Lockhart News Brief. Lockhart Perspective.